In this video, we'll demonstrate the setup and gas purging process for the Atatel 936, 938, and 949 hydraulic test pumps. Both the preparation and the gas purging process are the same for the Atatel 936, 938, and 949 pumps. We will be showing the Atatel 949 pump in this video. However, the instructions are exactly the same for the other pumps. To fill the pump with fluid, we must first remove the reservoir vent valve. We will want to add enough fluid until the clear liquid reservoir is about 250 milliliters full. Once we have the liquid reservoir about 250 milliliters full, we can screw back on the reservoir vent valve. To produce stable and high pressure measurements using a hydraulic calibration pump, the gas within the calibration system needs to be removed. Hydraulic test pumps use various types of fluid to generate high pressures. Because gas is more compressible than liquid, purging most if not all the gas out of the system will allow for maximum pressures to be generated and the best ability results to be realized. The first step is to securely connect the reference to the pump. The device under test, or DUT, could also be connected but only if it is okay for the DUT to have a vacuum pulled on it. Next, ensure the reservoir release valve on the top is open. The pre-pressure shutoff valve should also be open. Then close the vent valve and screw out both screw presses. You'll notice a slight vacuum being pulled on your reference gauge. The strength of the vacuum can be a good indicator of the amount of gas left in the system. Now that we have a vacuum pulled on the system, we will open the vent valve and let the fluid fill into the system. You'll notice this by the gauge settling to zero. Now with the vent valve left open, we'll turn the two screw presses all the way in. If you have gas still in the system, you'll notice bubbles coming into the liquid reservoir as you turn in the screw presses. Particularly on the initial setup where there's a lot of gas in the system, the process of pulling a vacuum and purging the gas out of the system will need to be repeated several times. The Atatel 936, 938, and 949 use a dual screw press system. The screw press on the left is a high volume pre-pressure piston. This side is used to pre-pressure the pump to obtain some higher pressures. The screw press on the right is a small volume piston designed for the higher pressures and for fine adjustment. Once you see a good vacuum being pulled and very few bubbles emerging in the liquid reservoir, then we are ready to start generating pressure. You should easily be able to generate full scale pressure with less than half the stroke of the screw presses. If I want to generate 40,000 psi for example, I would close the vent valve and screw in the pre-pressure screw press till about five or 6,000 psi. Then I'll close the pre-pressure shutoff valve. Now I can generate the remaining pressure with the high pressure screw press. To dial into a cardinal point, the high pressure screw press can also be used as a fine adjustment. At the high pressures, it may take a few minutes for measurements to stabilize. Small adjustments may be needed to ensure that you achieve the cardinal point. Over time and use, the fluid in your pump will need to be changed. To do this, locate the drain valve near the rear of the pump. We hope that you found this application video instructional and useful. For more information, please visit us at www.adatel.com.